Hello, I am Professor N. B. Hule from G. H. Raisoni Institute of Engineering and Technology. In this video, we will try to understand the other topic, which is star to delta conversions. That is star to delta conversions. In the previous video, we have seen that how to delta to star conversions. And using the equations which are developed or uh, prepared in the uh, previous section, which is this R1 is equal to this R1 is nothing but Ra into Rc divided by summation of all. This R2 is equal to this R2 is equal to Ra into Rb divided by summation of all. And this R3 is equal to R, Rb into Rc divided by summation of all, which I have uh, written at uh, as equation number 5, equation number 6 and equation number 7 in the previous section. We will use the similar equations for the uh, conversion of uh, the star to delta. <coughs> now, if I am modifying this equation, I am shifting the denominator on the LHS, then equation will become something like this. Here it is R1 in bracket Ra plus Rb plus it is Rc. This is equal to Ra into Rc and we will name this equation as equation number 8. This is equation number 8. Similarly, from this equation number 6, we can have from this equation number 6, we have this R2 in bracket Ra plus it is Rb plus it is Rc which is equal to that is Ra into Rb we will call this equation as equation number 9 and finally from the equation number 7 we can have R3 in bracket that is Ra plus Rb plus it is Rc which is equal to Rb into it is Rc and we will name this equation as equation number 10. Now we have the equation number 8, 9 and 10. Here in this case we want to find out the equations for Ra in terms of R1, R2, R3, equation for Rb in terms of R1, R2, R3 and the same is for equation uh, sorry term Rc. Now here means we are solving Ra in terms of R1, R2, R3, Rb in terms of the same and Rc so on. Now what we will do here, now here in this case we will divide equation number 10 by equation number 8 means we will perform this equation number 10 divided by this is this is the division equation number 10 divided by equation number 1 if we are finding the division of these two equations then here division will be r3 divided by r1 which is equal to r3 divided by r1 this is 10 divided by 8 10 divided by r3 divided by r1 this term will cancel with this term and on the right hand side we have rb into rc divided by ra into rc this rc will cancel with the rc and final equation will be rb divided by it is ra now here what what is our plan first we will find out rb and rc in terms of r1 r2 and we will substitute the values of the Rb and Rc here, which we will get R1 in terms of, sorry, Ra in terms of R1, R2 and R3, so on. That's why here, if we will modify this equation, if we will modify this equation in this way, means if we are finding the value of Rb here, this Rb, which is equal to R3 divided by R1, this is Rb is equal to R3 divided by R1 into this Ra into this Ra and we will name this equation as equation number 11. Similarly, we will perform the mathematical operation again equation number 10 divided by equation number 9. Equation number 10 divided by equation number 9 in that case. If we are performing equation number 10 divided by equation number 9, 
means it will be the equation will be r3 divided by r2 means division of these two this r a r b r c this whole bracket is cancelling with this whole which is equal to now here this r b is also cancelling with this r b that's why uh, whatever i have done in this way i will take the directly this is r c divided by r a means here we have the term r c divided by r a if we will simplify it further and write in the different way now here in this case this can be written for uh, we have calculated here r b now we will find out the value of r c this r c is equal to r 3 divided by r 2 into it is r a and this will be the equation number 12. Now what we will do we will substitute equation number 11 and 12 in equation number 8. We substituting we will substitute equation number 11 and equation number 12 in equation number 8 and then we will simplify it. Now, if we are doing the substitution here, this R1 is the same. This R1 is the same. Now, we will keep this RA also as it is. Plus, this RB, we will substitute its value from the equation number 11. This RB will be R3 divided by R1 into it is RA plus this rc rc will be r3 divided by r2 into it is ra which is equal to its right hand side which is equal to its right hand side and this right hand side is ra into rc again this value of the rc we will substitute from the equation number 12 which is R3 divided by R2 into it is RA. Now here if we are taking RA as a common from left hand side then equation will be R1 into it is RA then in bracket it is 1 plus R3 divided by it is R1 plus it is R3 divided by it is R2 which is equal to RA into R3 divided by R2 into it is RA. Now here this RA will cancel with this RA. <coughs> the RA will cancel with RA and then we have this RA we will find out its value single RA. Now this RA is equal to what I will do I will keep this value on this side itself RA. And if we are substituting this value on the left hand side, in that case it will be R1 into R2 because this R2 will be in the numerator. Divided by it is R3 in bracket it is 1 plus R3 divided by it is R1 plus it is R3 divided by it is R2. This is This is the value of R. Now here in this case, if we are simplifying further, if we are simplifying further, then R A will be here. I will write here. This R A is equal to this R A is equal to. I will uh, do the processing here or multiply inside the bracket to be exact. This is R1 into R2 divided by it is R3 plus if I am multiplying by this term inside the bracket this R3 will cancel with this R3 this R1 will cancel with this R1 means here will be the term that is R2 plus. If I am multiplying by this term inside the bracket here this R2 will cancel with this R2 this R3 will cancel with this R3 and remaining value is it is R1. 
and we will name this equation as equation number 13. Means what we have done, we have calculated equation for RA. I will write in the different way. Otherwise, I will name it equation number 13 electron. I will readjust the terms, nothing else. I am not applying any formula, just I am readjusting the term to keep in mind. After, it is a thumb rule. This is R1 plus it is R2 plus it is R1 into R2 divided by it is R3. I will name this equation as equation number 13. Now look at how the equation number 13 will work. How the equation number 13 will work for this figure. Now how we have? We have calculated Ra, this value, means this value. It is connected between R1 and R2, I have shown here, R1 and R2. Then this value of Ra can be written as R1, which is here, plus R2, which is here, plus multiplication of these two, that is R1 into R2, divided by its remaining resistance, which is R3. Means this is the formula for Ra. In the similar way, we can write, in the similar way, we can write the remaining equations. In the similar way, we can write the remaining equations. Means what? Similar way, this Rb is equal to. Where is the Rb? Rb is this resistance, which is connected between R2 and R3. It is connected between R2 and R3, this Rb. What should be its value? It is R2 plus R3 plus R2 into R3 divided by its remaining resistance, which is R1. This is equation number 14. And finally, we can write the equation for Rc from the same figure. From the same figure. It is not actually delta to star conversion. I am referring the figure of that delta to star conversion. Because in this case, this is given is a star. We are converting into the delta. This is star and we are converting into the delta. Now, the value of the resistance Rc, which is in the delta, this Rc will be equal to, this Rc will be equal to, this Rc is connected between R1 and R3. R1 and R3. Means this value will be R1 plus it is R3 plus it is R1 into R3 divided by it is remaining resistance which is R2 and this is the equation number 15. Here these are the equations useful for these are the equations useful for star to delta conversion. Equation number 567 are useful for delta to star conversion. If the given thing is delta, we want to convert it into the star. Then equation number 567 are useful. And if the given thing is a, the star and we want to convert it into the delta, then here these are the three equations. These are the three equations we have. That is star to delta conversion, equation 13, 14 and equation 50 is useful for that is star to delta conversions. Means uh, these are the things about star to delta and delta to star conversion. In the next video, I will solve some problems based on the calculation of the star to delta and delta to star conversion. That's all for this particular video. Thank you.